And part two of explaining page four with some examples we've got here. So example one is showing you uh, a sort of grade, a level four to five because of the, the way this has been done. So it's a really good example for you to look at and to use. There are four very clear objects and they're good quality and they, they have used Access FM to annotate all the things. You can just about see it says at the top material, cost, function. So they've used the titles from Access FM and they've annotated each one of those things. Uh, he's got a nice layout so we can see the four objects very, very clearly. He's got a title at the top. So it's all pretty good. It's nice and easy to read. To improve on that and to get a much higher grade, what he needed to do is to really go into more depth on all of the detail. So you can see at the bottom it says annotation lacks depth, does not go into enough detail. For example, when he says material, bamboo, well, what about bamboo? You know, why is it made of bamboo? Um, what's the reason for it? Why would a, a customer buy it? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Does it make it more expensive? Does it make it harder to recycle? You know, the whole of that section there really needed to be a bigger box that explained in more detail, expanded, what about bamboo? Okay. Same with cost. If you look on each and every one, it's just written cost and then the amount of the object. Again, what does that cost tell us? You know, why is it so expensive? Um, or is it expensive? You know, do you consider that to be a lot of money to pay for a toothbrush? Is it expensive because of the material or is it expensive because of the way it's been manufactured? Is it expensive because it can't be recycled at the end of its life? What is it that makes it that cost? You can guess on this, okay? So all of those really need expanding in much more detail so that we can really understand about the products in more depth, okay? So that's that example. The one on the other side, example two, as you can see, has got far more information on it. It's a really good example of a level seven to eight. There are four objects again, you can see them, they're quite clear. And to make it easier to see which bit of text goes with which picture, it, there's a title to link the two together. So for example, this bit of text here, they're explaining that it goes with this cutlery set over there. You could do it like that, or you could do boxes and grid the page up a bit more, or arrows like we've used before so that you could link the text to the image. Either of those things is okay. So again, it's got a good heading on the top of there. They've gone into lots of depth on the, on the individual things. And instead of using those bullet points of material, cost, function, you can see this person has actually just put one thing into the other so it becomes like a little mini essay. It becomes sentences about each of those things, but it becomes a whole thing. It becomes a bit of text about that particular object, which is really good. Now, as well as going in more depth, this person has also thought about wider context too. If you read it, it does say things about environmental issues or recycling or end of life use. So by going into a bit more detail that's not normally on Access FM, they're able to expand what they're saying about it. Now beware, do not cut and paste stuff off the internet. If this all said something, for example, like, here's this fantastic new toothbrush, price three ninety nine, available in all good bookstores, for example. Not that that would be possible, but that would mean it's just been cut and pasted off the internet. And it's not answering the questions of Access FM. It's just telling us, how much that thing costs and why it's for sale. So don't cut and paste, stick to what you need to go through and make sure it's in depth, okay? One thing I would say about this is it potentially is quite full. So what they've had to do is make the boxes with the pictures in very, very small. If you're going to do that, make sure you don't make them so small we can't see the pictures anymore. Make sure they are still good quality images. As I've said before, you're gonna get marked on your text and not the images. The images are just cut and paste off the internet. The examiner is not gonna give you much marks for that. He's gonna give you the marks for what you say about it. So make sure you say in enough depth to get the highest grade possible. Good luck, hope this helps, and see you soon.